coming back with part two of my knife collection for 2015 and i hope you guys enjoy part one which was all my folding blades so this is going to be all my fixed blades so this is not going to be a review of any of these knives because there's a lot to go through i'm just going to set them up in little categories i guess and i'll just show you each one of them individually let's get into it all right so we're going to start with my neck knives here and first we have the K bar, we have the K bar last ditch, really small uh, Warren Cliff style blade, and we have the the Boker Vox Gnome, pretty decent, really sharp. This is the benchmark neck knife. Not to be confused with the knife company Benchmade. Uh, this is a, a, but a more budget friendly neck knife. Definitely under 20 bucks. It's another Warren Cliff style blade. And this is the CRKT Spew. And this. It was a neck knife. Uh, they, they don't come with these handle scales. I got this separately, but it's kind of too bulky and too uh, heavy with the scales. So technically this is a neck knife. It's called the K-Bar Becker Necker. But basically I use it uh, in the sheath on my waist when I'm uh, maybe hiking or something. All right, so those are my neck knives. These are, as far as blades, they're small knives. Um, they're almost the size of some neck knives, but I wouldn't consider these neck knives. First is the K-Bar TDI, with the serrated blade. This is the uh, Buck Mini Alpha Hunter, and it is the impregnated rosewood handles. And this is another Buck Mini Alpha Hunter. And this is the impregnated uh, charcoal wood handles. Moving on to somewhat larger knives than I just showed you. Um, I have the Schrade Old Timer. Then I have the Booker Trigonoff. Warren Cliff style blade. And I did sharpen it, if you could see the, uh, kind of the mirror edge on there. Uh, with my Carter handle scales. This is actually the first fixed blade I ever had. And this is the Gerber Profile. <laughs> Gerber's Mystery Steel. Uh, kind of a rubber grip handle. This is the... K-Bar Hunter, the stack leather handle, high polished blade, and this is a, <clears throat> this is my Mora, Mora Clipper, and this is a fantastic fixed blade for the price. I believe I paid like 13 bucks for this on Amazon. I mean, it is a few years ago, but I think they still could be had for about 15 or less. This is my K-Bar BK-16, flat grind, and this is my Smith & Wesson HRT, uh, dagger style, double edged. Alright, so moving up to uh, my larger knives. We have the Gerber Prodigy, and it is a, a Tonto style blade with serrations, so it's a combo edge. And this is considered a combat knife, uh, however this is actually just the first knife I learned to throw with, and it is the Cold Steel GI Tonto. I just wrapped the handle in paracord because that handle is kind of slippery. And this is my Ontario Knife Company 
the SP1 Marine with the uh, clip point with the sharpened uh, sledge and this right here is my Schrade SCHF9 <clears throat> it's supposed to be the all around uh, ultimate survival knife um, I really don't carry it that much because it's pretty heavy this is almost a pound and it's extra thick I think it's about a quarter inch blade yeah so I use it here and there but I really don't carry it much if I'm camping or hiking just because of how heavy it is all right one more little slide to show you guys and we're almost done so now I'm rounding out the collection this is more of my dedicated throwing knives and first we have the SOG Flash Hawk Tomahawk and these are my Gil Hibben throwers comes in a, a set of three also set of three is my SOG throwing knives and this one is the cold steel true flight thrower cool all right so i hope you appreciated uh my total knife collection sorry i had to break it down into two parts but i really don't like super long videos so thanks for stopping by and checking out this video you guys have a great day